Zomi was an absolute ray of sunshine, full of warmth, full of kindness, very generous, very funny, vibrant. As globe-trotting Aussie expats working in the aid world, Rebecca Dirch and Zomi Frankham forged a quick bond. She was very ambitious and motivated and often inspired me to do things differently as well. And she was just a ball of fun to be around. Hello, Hello, Rebecca! Their friendship migrated with their jobs from New York to Bangkok, Zomi's base for missions to global trouble spots. Her mother was from northern India, from a small community there. And I think growing up, seeing the differences uh, between how she was being raised in Australia and how her family, uh, her extended family was living in India, sort of inspired her to want to help people. She would help anyone, anywhere. Her work with food charity World Central Kitchen took her from Asia to North Africa. We are here in Cairo, Egypt. And finally, the Middle East. We have just completed a successful job of four meals in Jerusalem, She shared with us that she was in Gaza um, at the end of last week and uh, she shared the sort of process in getting oriented there. So she sent us messages of um, the PPE collection and a picture of her in front of a Welcome to Palestine sign. Rebecca Dirch says Zomi understood the dangers. Just days ago, texting about an explosion she'd heard, probably artillery fire from a tank about 800 metres away. And, and she had also shared with other friends that she had this sick feeling in her stomach with the noise going on around her. But again, it was kind of secondary to the mission of what they were trying to achieve there. This is the, the beautiful fragrant aromatic rice that will be served today from Jirabala Kitchen. Thank you. And then the worst possible news. Zomi and six others were killed. Two foreign aid workers, three members of their security team and a local driver, 25-year-old Saif Isam Abu Taha. Saif's family yesterday gathered in Gaza to mourn. كان كان هدف التطوع لغات الشعب الفلسطيني والا يقعد يعني في 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 البيت ويقدم خدمه خدمه للشعب الفلسطيني This is what the family has been told about Saif's final mission. وكانت في له طلعه مسبقه تم التنسيق للموكب اللي هو عباره عن اربع سيارات الى ميناء غزه لتفريغ شحنه كانت تاتي عن طريق البحر. تم استهداف السيارة الآخر سيارة بصاروخ زنانة ثم استهداف السيارة في الوسط ثم استهداف السيارة التي يوجد فيها ابن نسير Israel has apologized and launched an investigation It was a mistake that followed a misidentification at night during a war in a very complex conditions It shouldn't have happened the attack has sparked an international outcry. We were outraged to learn of an IDF strike that killed a number of civilian humanitarian workers yesterday from the World Central Kitchen. This is completely unacceptable. Prime Minister Netanyahu has committed to full transparency about how this tragedy could possibly have occurred. This is unconscionable, but it is an inevitable result of the way the war is being conducted. It demonstrates yet again the urgent need for an immediate humanitarian ceasefire. A day after the attack, the wreckage of the convoy remained on the street in northern Gaza, showing marked vehicles hit directly, including a strike that pierced the World Central Kitchen logo on the roof of one car. The charity says the convoy's movements had been coordinated with the IDF. Aid agencies operating in Gaza say Israel has hit humanitarian convoys and workers even when their movements and coordinates were shared with the military. On three different occasions, um, 
on our way in or out of the north of the Gaza Strip. UNRWA convoys have indeed been hit, including um, on the 5th of February by the Israeli Navy. And on the two other incidents, um, the convoys were shot at on the way back after we delivered humanitarian assistance in the north. The Palestine Red Crescent Society, which operates emergency services in Gaza, says its ambulances have also been struck. We have experienced our teams being targeted despite coordination has been made by the Israelis through UN agencies or even the Red Cross. This happened in many occasions since the beginning of the war uh, on Gaza. The Red Crescent say 15 of its workers have been killed while on duty in Gaza since October 7. The UN agency there says so far 176 of its staff have died. It is uh, an indicator that no one is safe in, in Gaza, no place is safe. So it's happening way too often. The Israeli forces have crossed all lines the red lines included. What happened is unacceptable. The international humanitarian law is clear. Humanitarians, aid workers and healthcare workers should be protected and respected. What does Israel say to claims that Israel targets ambulances and humanitarian aid convoys? So it is uh, frankly obscene to say that uh, Israel uh, does anything of the kind. We have worked very, very hard to get more aid uh, into Gaza. As I mentioned before, 70 food trucks before this war, more than 200 today, an average of about 150 every uh, single day. So the, the idea that, um, that we are targeting aid convoys is, is, uh, is nothing short of nonsense. The tens of thousands of casualties in this six-month conflict do not diminish the loss of aid workers like Zomi Frankham. Those uh, workers, humanitarians and aid workers who come from across the world just to save people's lives, they are true heroes. They are humanity heroes. يعني أنا من كتر من بس مع ابن عمي بحكي عن زوم يعني إحنا كنا حبناها أقسم بالله العظيم كونها يعني سيدة أنا آلت عن نفسها تركت بيتها بلدها وأتت إلى فلسطين لكي تقدم خدمة إغاثة وخدمة إنسانية للشعب الفلسطيني يعني هي أتت إلى هنا على أمل أن تخدم الناس. Rebecca Dirch can't quite believe her friend is gone. We were just messaging on Friday that she was due back in Bangkok this Sunday for her visa renewal. She's been consoling herself with reminders of the good times, of a life well lived. She was cut out for a life overseas and a life helping people and she lives for the adventure. 